My name's Richard Webb. I'm the Operations Manager, Quarry and Concrete Products for E&JW Glendinning here at uh, Linnae Quarry, Ashburn. Glendinning took ownership of this site in 1958. Back then, they were primarily involved in the processing and sale of agricultural lime. Since then, the business has expanded many fold. We now extract approximately 600,000 tonnes a year of limestone. We have an asphalt operation. We also manufacture concrete blocks, ready mix concrete, and various other activities associated with the extraction and processing of limestone. Having evaluated a number of different rigid trucks, we decided that the best fit for the business was the new R70. Initially we were looking to perhaps purchase a TR70, but then there was the, the acquisition took place between Volvo and Terex trucks, which led us on to then actually dealing with Volvo SMT. We've got a very good relationship with SMT, so we know that we're going to get very good backup service and support. Having operated the TR70 now for nearly 20 years, we know it's a good, solid, reliable truck. The bonus being that it's manufactured and assembled in the UK. Parts availability is very good, and we've got local dealerships to look after the truck during its warranty period and beyond. The new truck's main application will be running from the face to the primary processing plant alongside the existing Terex TR70. With regards to loading at the face, um, we've got both excavator and front end loading shovel options, but the primary loader normally is the Volvo 350. The truck itself will be working on a single shift basis, but that's uh, typically a nine hour shift, five days a week. Um, we would expect the truck over the course of uh, 12 months to probably handle in the region of 200 to 250,000 tonnes of material from the face to the processing plant. Prior to taking delivery of the truck, um, we were lucky enough to have a visit to the production facility up in Motherwell. Um, clearly there has been a lot of investment by the Volvo brand into that facility in the last few years. It's a very modern facility. What was encouraging about the, the Motherwell operation was once the truck comes off the assembly line, it's then put through a good uh, period, three to four hours of, of testing and evaluation prior to delivery. Our relationship with SMT Volvo is typified by the fact that we're probably running in excess of 15, nearly 20 different machines now of the Volvo brand. A combination of loading, front end loading shovels, articulated dump trucks, and now the first rigid dump truck. In addition to the different operations that I've mentioned, we also have our own engineering facilities on site, and we also run our own haulage feet which is well in excess of probably 60 vehicles these days on the road.